Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. This is the magnificent point and reading room of the library at University College Oxford. We are here with the kind permission of the Master and Fellows of University College Oxford to photograph this imposing sculpture of Lords Eldon and Stoll, brothers John and William Scott. Over the space of two and a half hours we took 2,720 images. And, whilst access to the front was easy, photographing the rear was a tight squeeze. The result is this model, which can be viewed on Sketchfab. When displayed at the Great Exhibition it was labelled, Eldon on the left, Stoll on the right, but these labels must have been temporarily added, as they are not part of the sculpture. It was commissioned in 1840 by the second Lord Eldon, grandson of John Scott. The sculptor Sir Francis Chantry only managed to produce sketches before he died. Musgrave Luthwaite Watson took over, but he too died before completing the work. It was completed by George Nelson in 1850. Moving east along the nave, passing the Broadwood Piano, the Fine Art Court, then statue of the Duke of Rutland which we introduced in the previous video. We cross the transept into the foreign nave. The first new item we meet here is this large Spanish cannon. Behind the cannon is a display case containing an embroidered copy of the Spanish coat of arms. Moving further east we come to the Dancing Fawn by French sculptor Eugène Louis Lecaine. This piece is now in the Luxembourg Gardens in Paris. Moving a little further east we come to the final addition for this update, Wounded Achilles by Innocenzo Fraccaroli. This piece is now in Galleria d'Art Moderna Achille Forti, Verona. Watch out for my next video, which will continue to add to the contents of the exhibition.